Hi, uh, this is Amit Kirti here. Uh, in this video, we would like to look at uh, Krushkal's algorithm. So, items for discussion would be Krushkal's algorithm introduction, Krushkal's algorithm example, the Krushkal's algorithm itself. Then we will analyze the Krushkal's algorithm using the example that we will discuss in two. And then finally, we will try to find the time complexity of Krushkal's algorithm. Now, Krishkal's algorithm is an algorithm used to find a minimum cost spanning tree for connected weighted undirected graph. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of words here. Uh, let's try to describe each of the words in the using this figure. So, in this figure, you see that there are four vertices and they are all connected by edges. Now, this particular graph is connected because all the vertices are connected using some edge or the other. So there is no isolated vertex here. It is weighted because all the edges that are connected have some number on top of them, which could represent yeah, the, the distance between the two vertices if these vertices represent cities. They are undirected because they don't have an arrow pointing towards any particular vertex. So A, B, length is same as BA or BC length is same as CB. Now our aim in Krishkal's algorithm is to start from this figure and obtain something like this. Now this we call it as a minimum cost spanning tree. The reason being it's a spanning tree because by definition a spanning tree is something which connects all the vertices through one edge and there are no loops here. And this is a minimum cost spanning tree because the weight of this particular tree is the minimum. How do I say that? If I were to take this particular graph again and then if I were to figure out a brute force way of finding out all possible spanning trees, then I would get something like this. So these are 16 different possibilities of spanning trees and then if I calculate the weight of each of these and then choose the minimum, I actually end up with what we saw before. That is nothing but this particular instance. Now, let's take a Krishkal's algorithm example in real life. For example, we have a neighborhood where everybody is connected to each other as shown here. And this particular connection represents say uh, the digital uh, broadcasting system uh, between all the houses. So a particular uh, cable TV guy uh, say Comcast or some some guy has connected all the houses through fiber optic cables and they are all connected to his central station. Now he has to lay cables to a new neighborhood which has these houses. So his job is to ensure that the cables are laid in such a way that the cost of laying the cables is less and the amount of digging is also less. So in such scenarios he has to choose a house from where he has to pull the wire and connect to these houses. So the choice should be such that the length of the cable that he has to lay from the last house to this next house should be less. So that is what Kruskal's algorithm helps you decide. Now let's take an example of this particular graph and try to see how we can apply Kruskal's algorithm. Now Kruskal's algorithm is, now the aim of Kruskal's algorithm is very straightforward. As we saw, it has to be a minimum cost spanning tree. So how do we go about doing it? In Krishkal's algorithm, let's say we first write all the vertices. The algorithm says, connect the vertices which have minimum edge and they don't find a form a loop. So in this graph, if you see, the minimum edge that we find is this, which is 1. So the minimum edge is between B and C. So I will connect it with 1. Now the next minimum edge is between E and F whose value is actually 2. So the next minimum edge that is chosen is between E and F and that value is 2. Now you see that during the process of formation of your minimum cost spanning tree, you would actually get disjoint trees or disjoint spanning trees. So when you finally end up with your solution, all these vertices may get connected. But during the process, you might find many such disjointed trees. So the next one is between A and B, which is the value is 3. 
so we join the two vertices a and b now i have two options they are b and f and c and f the values are 4 and all others are more than 4 so i have between b and f and c and f so i need to choose one of them so i'll just go by alphabetical order and choose b and f now the next option is actually the smallest one is c and f so i should ideally go and connect c and f but the problem is if i connect them i will form a loop the loop is between b c and f so i cannot use c and f so i ignore this particular uh, edge so my next option is phi uh, edge length phi that is between a and f and f and d so i need to choose between a and f or f and d now suppose i went ahead and chose a and f if i choose a and f then i would form a loop here between a b and f so that is not really what i want so i will ignore a and f and then i will actually choose f and d which is of length phi now if you look carefully we have actually connected all the vertices with some edge so none of the vertices are left so this forms the minimum cost spanning tree for using krishkal's algorithm so aim of krishkal's algorithm is choose any two vertices whose edge length is minimum and connect them and ensure that it doesn't form loop with already connected vertices now here is the algorithm for krishkal's so krishkal's algorithm first assumes that all the edges are sorted in ascending order of weights and then we assign a particular et which represents an array of edges which is your our solution to zero indicating that no edges have been selected we just use a variable called encounter and one more variable called k encounter is used to indicate how many edges are present in the edge set that is our solution since currently we have not added any set encounter will also be zero so this is the heart of the algorithm while encounter is less than v minus one that is we till we connect all the vertices with the edges go ahead and what we are supposed to do is increment k plus one and then add the edge into the selected edge that is suppose i have this graph and these are the edges and i have sorted them in increasing order what i need to do is start from the beginning pick an edge and put it in the selected edges and increment the counter just ensure that it is not cyclic so if i have these vertices initially i will ne definitely not form a cycle so what i do is i pick the first edge that is bc which has a edge length one and then i will add it to the selected edge that is et so my et contains bc then i, I increment the encounter i go up again i increment k plus one and i choose the next edge that is the second edge from the table which is fe and i connect them then i again go up in the loop increment k and choose the third edge that is a b and i go ahead and connect a b then between b f and f c i need to make a choice so i will choose one of them so i will put one of them say b f and then comes the next option that is c f which is of length four again if i choose c f then i will form a loop which is according to this particular if statement i should add only if i don't form a loop so i ignore this edge and the next edge according to this table is either a f or c f so if i choose a f so i have a f or f d sorry uh, there is a mistake here it had to be f d so if i choose a f i will form a loop so that's why i will not choose that and i will choose f d so this particular algorithm will ensure that I get the minimum span, minimum cost spanning tree. Now the time complexity of Krishkal's algorithm, if the graph that we saw just now is represented as an adjacency matrix, then the time complexity is actually square of the vertices, number of vertices. And if we use a binary heap and adjacency list, the complexity can be reduced and it turns out to be of the order of e log v so this was krishkal's algorithm thanks for watching this video